appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. Nice one. Attention all you fellas working the sawmill. Make sure you keep a steady watch. The prowler's been spotted. And we can not afford to have anything happen to our log cutting equipment. Particularly that laser type of saw blade. We're gonna need it once we get to them old oaks up near Lookout Mountain. Redirected out the window. Now, to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours.
Cheer up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The well, first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. The radio transmitters have all been tagged in their mouths. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Stay clear of the thin, crackly ice. Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. Thank <laughs> you. 
Only you could have pulled that off. Head outside and I'll fill you in on the next step. receiver array, you'll have to place the radio transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bissant's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job we pulled in Istanbul. It was awesome.
never let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moose head should do the trick. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. Sly, if you can get the stuffed moose head without being detected, Murray should be able to join the RC Combat Club without raising any suspicion. Heads up. Hey, fellas. Any of you guys think you can beat the mer... The, the moose? Maybe put a bet on it. Oh, I'm in, eh? I ain't got a lot of money for this wager, but there's no way I'd lose to a new guy like you, huh?
You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh well, I guess I owe ya. After reading through the log shopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the Lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now, I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh?